Team Castrol at Roush Fenway Racing? Yes, please. Here is Ryan Newman's 2020 Castrol Ford Mustang. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today's car is going to be the first Ryan Newman 2020 Diecast. Literally the first 2020 car, but you know what? This is the Castrol car, and I already did a review on a certain Castrol car. Mm, Greg Biffle. Uh, we'll be doing a side-by-side -side on that uh, later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But here is the first uh, release for Ryan Newman. Uh, of course, a crazy year for the cat. I tell you what, man. God bless Ryan Newman. Um, this is a fantastic looking paint scheme. You know, the last time I remember a Castrol diecast being made, I think it was, uh, what's his face? Is, I think it was Casey Atwood's uh, number 27 Bush car. I think that was the last time I seen a Castrol diecast being made. Now, they might have had a, a promo or whatnot, but they've definitely been more of the, uh, definitely been more on the NHRA side of things. But I tell you what, this is a fantastic looking diecast. I'm excited to go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2020 Castrol Ryan Newman Ford Mustang for Roush Fenway Racing out of the box all righty folks brand new out of the box here here is um well the 2020 castrol car and i will say the green on this car is quite interesting so i remember the the green being on this car a little bit more brighter a little bit more vibrant and to me it just feels like everything's kind of kind of dull i don't know why but i just feel like the color on this car not to be a complainer or nothing but i just feel like something's kind of dull like there's a kind of a haze uh, I, I i feel like the red should be a little bit more potent Unfortunately, I don't think that's the case, but you know what? It's a die cast. We got it made, and I think that's freaking awesome. Of course, this car, we'll be uh, we'll be comparing it to the uh, the Greg Biffle uh, iRacing 2020 car we made, so uh, that's going to be fun. I got Castrol over here on the hood. We got the Ford logo here, and every time I think of Castrol on a stock car, I keep thinking about Gran Turismo 4 and those rally cars from like the 80s and 90s with the Castrol logos on it. You know what I'm saying? I freaking love that game. And, uh, you know, this paint scheme... It's going to be on track of the NASCAR Dress Cup Series. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be another Ryan Newman release within the next week. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be his uh, 2020 Daytona 500 car for the Dura Cup Series, which is August 2nd. July 30th is going to be the dual races. So you got the number six there. I like that three-dimensional number six. Very cool. I mean, this is a very modern paint scheme, but uh, fellas, something is not right here. Why is this side like kind of a uh, kind of a sharper edge and this one's like a I don't know what you would call it got a bullet hole there you got uh, you got uh, Roush Fenway Racing got the uh, K&N 3M Sunoco I uh, got Mustang there got the uh, same contingencies on this side the whole bottom though of the nose is all uh, black very sharp though I mean the green is interesting I don't know if it's more dull than the actual car or is it more accurate I don't really know uh, but definitely kind of threw me for a loop a little bit and then over here to the left side of this die cast You got Ryan Newman right there, you know, God bless him, man I mean, he survived the freaking Daytona 500 crash. That was the craziest crash I've ever seen live in NASCAR history I mean, I I would never forget that crash of that night I mean, my my freaking stomach was just, I mean, in knots, bro I just kept praying for him, man, you know I uh, got the American flag there. I got Ford. I got Castro, Coca-Cola. Uh, Windham Rewards. Quite interesting. They still sponsor them. And I got Oscar Mayer. Is it Oscar Mayer or Oscar Mayer? I'm going to call Oscar Mayer. I, Os you got Oscar Mayer. I, I don't freaking know. Uh, I got Castro all there. You got uh, Mac Tools, Champion, whatever that is. Uh, Simeons. And the design, I tell you, man, I love the paint scheme. Very sharp, very jagged lines. You know, if you compare this car to the 2019 Windham Rewards paint scheme, that car is plain Jane, you know, it's got the small logo. I wish the Castro logo was a little bit bigger, though. But the paint scheme design is so much better. I mean, I like these sharp, aggressive angles. That's that's Castro, man. That I like that. It reminds me of the rally cars. I really like that. Dude, that would make one awesome darning to throwback if they did one of the old Castro rally paint schemes. Oh my god. God, dude, that would be that'd be so freaking cool, man. Of course, you got the uh, NASCAR Cup Series logo there. You got NASCAR race car there. Uh, just wow, man, that would be freaking awesome. The the outline over here on the Goodyear logo that is oof. And then over here to the back end of this race car, so you see how the little red stripe kind of wraps around and goes to the back end of the car. Well, you got the Castro logo there. It's a little bit, I would say, a little bit small, but you can also see the top part kind of has a notch cut out of it. That is because of the TV camera. 
Uh, See, so that's uh, understandable there. You got uh, Roush Fenway Racing on the bottom left. You got the number six on the right side. You got the Michigan license plate right there. That's that's pretty cool. You got the uh, good old black spoiler there. Just it's just a modern paint scheme, bro. It really is. Then over here to the right side of this race car, of course, you got the B Post logo, which is I guess this car is so freaking fast. Uh, the beat post decal actually flew off almost. Um, this car could technically be considered a Ross Chastain. It really could have because, I mean, Chastain did fill in for Roush Fenway Racing's Ryan Newman, uh, which is quite interesting considering he's a Chevrolet driver and has ties to Chip Ganassi Racing. So I thought that was really cool that Chevrolet allowed him uh, to go help out the, the Roush Fenway bunch. That was really cool in my opinion. Plus, you know, he's looking for a full-time ride. He's not a household name, you know. You would never see Jimmy Johnson filling in for a Toyota driver, right? Because he's a Chevrolet guy. Um, Chastain's kind of a free agent, you know? And then over here to the roof of this die cast, you got the uh, the Roush Fenway number six right there. Uh, Mark Martin, David Reagan vibes there. Not Trevor Bain. No, no, no disrespect to Trevor Bain, but when I think of the six car, I absolutely don't think of Trevor Bain. I got the white, the red, and the black there. I just feel like the red and the green's a little dull in the paint scheme, to be honest with you. Go over here to the uh, the deck lid here. And uh, the Castrol, the little logo right there, just chilling. Got Ryan Newman on the back window. Look at that just complete decal chip right there. Even got a little bit of a decal crinkle. That's that's always good. But yeah, you got a uh, missing spot there. And over here on the deck lid, well, you got Castrol once again with a little uh, random green stripe that just brushed off. Alrighty, folks, so here is the side-by-side -side comparison I've been wanting to do for months now, okay? So the top one is a custom based off Greg Biffle's 2020 iRacing car uh, that he ran at Texas. Uh, and the bottom is obviously the Ryan Newman 2020, but these are two different shades of green, right? Obviously, the top one, far less quality in terms of pixels and all that jazz, but I mean, the green on the bottom is almost like a pool table green. Very similar, but it's a little bit different. How this one has, I'd say, a little bit more of a, a, a tucked-in red stripe there, where this one's a little bit more across the board. Um, both of them have the black side skirts. I like the Goodyear lettering on this one rather than this one. Uh, both had the same amount of contingencies. <laughs> uh, the Castro logo is a little bit bigger on the Greg Biffle, which is nice. Um, the same small sponsors here. I mean, literally, they copied and pasted basically uh, the Newman over to the Biffle. And of course, over here to the back end of these race cars, uh, like I said, the green is just significantly darker. Obviously, it's a custom. You can see how I didn't have the proper green paint, and that happens. Uh, the Castro logo just chilling there, but uh, definitely. Um, it's just interesting, you know, but hey, we got Team Castrol in the NASCAR Dorados Cup Series because this is going to be Ryan Newman's primary, so you got Team Castrol over there at the Roush Fenway camp. And then over here to the right side of this paint scheme, I mean, you can just see the, the green is just so different. I feel like the green obviously has a little bit more of a deeper, like, texture on the custom, but this one's literally, it's, it's a pull table green. Like, that's the God honest truth. It's flat. It doesn't have any transitions, any fading or anything however the custom does and folks uh dare i actually show the front end of this thing yeah the front end of this thing's horrible i'll be honest with you i, I screwed it up i didn't have the right size decals this is one of the first uh, fully wrapped ford mustangs i did um but yeah this one's completely roached but you could still somewhat see a similarity with the paint scheme traps go a little bit further past the castro logo the castro logo is significantly bigger on the actual ryan newman uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, they're similar, but oof. And then over here to the roof of this dying cast, I mean, like I said, the green's a lot more, I, I think what it was is that when they made the template, right, they made the template, these little, these are shadows, right, these are shadows because when they put them in the game, they have shadows that are supposed to reflect off the paint to make it look a little bit more 3D and more realistic. This is what the car is actually supposed to look like. So even though this is shadows, it actually looks really good. It makes the green a little bit more deeper, right? Um, but it's unattended. But it actually looks very good. This is, I mean, it's a weird shade of green, guys. It might look better in daylight. But I tell you what, in my studio, it looks like, it's a bootleg studio. <laughs> it looks like a pool tabletop, you know? The interior is a different color. Got a, you know, the front and back windshield banners. And, of course, the Castrol logo is so much bigger on the roof. 
And then over here on the deck lid, well, uh, the deck lid uh, logo is a lot bigger as well. Alrighty, folks, that is it for today's NASCAR diecast review. Tune in tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have another Gold Series review at the same time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Alex Bowman, 2020, so you can check out his brand new Lumar. Is it Lumar or Lumar? Whatever. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another NASCAR diecast review. Hope you could tune in. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, July 30th, NASCAR Dual Cup Series returns. The dual races, August 2nd. Dual Cup Series, Daytona 500. This cat's going to be driving this car. Greg Biffle, who returns to Roush Fenway Racing, driving that 16 car, is going to make his Dual Cup Series debut at Daytona. That's going to be exciting. Team Castro in the Dual Cup Series. That's pretty cool. Anyways, folks, hope you have an amazing day out there. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.